um hello everyone good evening to you too um welcome to this uh, webinar where we'll be talking about the international scientific conference join maybe type in the chat box where you're joining us from Uh, good evening once again. Sorry about that. The chat box had been disabled, but uh, maybe type something. Let's see whether it's back on. Welcome, Dr. Susan from Nairobi. Karibu sana, Dr. Lemayan also from Nairobi. We have uh, Dr. Kamala from Machakos. Shafiq Karibu Sana from Nairobi also, Dr. Edward Omwenga joining us from Mombasa. Pleasure to have you here. Dr. Uticas from Nairobi. Good evening to all of you. Karibu Nisana. Uh, kindly remind your friend if um Welcome, Dr. Lucas Nyabero, Dr. Raphael from Maua, Kenya, Dr. Nilesh from Eldoret, welcome. Um, as we have uh, our members join in, we give them three more minutes before we begin. Uh, we have Dr. Yale from Melbourne, Australia. Dr. Yale, what time is it in Australia? We have Dr. Phyllis. Dr. Kivoto from Nairobi. Welcome, Dr. Mageto from Kisi. Dr. Kimayo from Kakamega. I wonder if there's anyone from uh, Northeastern. Dr. Joyce from Busia, Karibusana. Dr. Steven from Nyeri. We shall be starting um, 10 minutes past the hour to allow more members to join in. Welcome Dr. Lillian from Kisumu and Dr. Kibet from Lake Kipia. Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the PSK webinar on what you need to know about uh, this year's International Scientific Conference. 
Uh, I want to start by, first of all, welcoming all of you to today's webinar. And from whichever part of the country you are from and to our guests who have joined us from outside. Uh, this year's, uh, this year's uh, conference promises to be very exciting. Uh, and it's part of our celebration of uh, 60 years of PSK. We also are delighted to be partnering with uh, ISPE, the International Society for Pharmacoepidemiology, uh, in this year's conference. I want to start by saying uh, we are grateful uh, to all those uh, people who have made previous conferences possible. Uh, this is just another building block on what the previous people who ran conferences uh, did uh, for PSK. And we are just trying to make uh, this year's conference, if not as good as, then better than uh, previous conferences. So thank you to all those who have been involved with the previous conferences to bring us to where we are. Uh, also, our gratitude to the National Executive Committee of PSK for uh, their continued support and guidance through this project. And also um, a big welcome to our newest uh, partner, uh, the International Society for Pharmacoepidemiology, um, for the Pharmacoepidemiology uh, AFRI. Uh, we are, the president of PSK is uh, going to join us as we go along and he will give his remarks when he join us. Uh, so without further ado, uh, it is my great honor and pleasure to welcome the president of ISPE Afri, uh, Mr. Kwame, uh, to say a few words uh, regarding their participation in the conference this year. Kwame, welcome. Sure, thank you very much, Anis. Um, I want to use this opportunity to thank um, PSK. Um, I have had um, extensive uh, communication with Anise, with Sylvia, who is one of um, ISP's members, um, it's an outstanding member of ISP. And um, I would want to say that we are so delighted that um, PSK has found um, um, it worthy to invite ISP to join in the um, 60th anniversary of PSK. My name is Kwame Apentin. I chair the International Society for Pharmacoepidemiology's African Regional Interest Group. And um, we are so delighted and look forward to our meeting um, in June in Mombasa. We um, are looking to contribute as much as we can to the content of the scientific program and also the pre-conference program and would welcome any questions or commentary that you might have uh, to help us enhance your experience during this um, conference. We have um, a lot of very um, renowned pharmacoepidemiologists um, in the world, and they will all they are all looking forward to coming to the conference. And so I'm going to stop here um, for the uh, um, conference, um, for the meeting leaders to take over from here. And if there's anything else that you'd want to find out from me, please feel free to ask. Uh, but thank you for the invitation. We look forward to the partnership. We're really, really pumped up and excited to be a partner of PSK uh, during this very, very, very um, big and important um, birthday. So thank you once again. Thank you, Kwame. Thank you for your good words. And thank you for being part of this uh, introduction uh, event. Uh, next, we have the FIP partner and representing FIP, uh, we have the APF president, uh, the pharmacist Jocelyn Chaibwa from Zimbabwe. Uh, Jocelyn, if you would kindly say a few words. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, I'm Jocelyn Chaibwa from Zimbabwe, the current president of African Pharmaceutical Forum. Uh, maybe for the benefit of those who have not participated in, with F, in FIP or APF, APF is a, one of the six regional forums 
which fall under the FIP, which is Federation of International Pharmacies. When we look at uh, pharmacy practice throughout the world, we want everybody to give a service which is befitting for our people, for our populations. And as such, we talk of one FIP concept, whereby as pharmacists, we are saying wherever you are as a pharmacist, the quality of service which we provide as pharmacists should not be affected by your regional or your training. It should be pharmacists are pharmacists and they give good quality service. And within that uh, planning, we have got uh, the development goals, FIP development goals, which are aligned with uh, the sustainable development goals when it looks at education and so on. So when we look at pharmacy education, that's one of our uh, big areas which we are looking at. So that pharmacy education within the region and the world over will address our needs as pharmacy. And as such, when we look at FIP through APF, we have uh, what we call the uni twin, which university twinning program, whereby universities in Africa and abroad are working together to strengthen pharmacist training within the region. And we also have, are trying to promote this uh, harmonization of pharmacy training through what we call the, <clears throat> the Association of Schools of Pharmacy. This is something which is still uh, in its infancy, the Association of Schools of Pharmacy. The, currently, the leadership of uh, the Association of Schools of Pharmacy is uh, being spearheaded by Dr. Arinola Joda, who is based in Nigeria, and uh, working together with the Cameroon School of Pharmacy. And we want all of us, Kenya, Uganda, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Malawi, all our African countries, you name them, we want to be uh, to work together and harmonize. I've also had communications with uh, our South African counterparts. They do the examinations for pharmacists who come and join the pharmacy practice in their country. And as such, they give them examinations. So you find the differences in our trainings make it a bit difficult to register pharmacists from who are trained in other countries. So when we are saying one FIP, we are saying all pharmacists, should be trained adequately to get the competences to give us this, uh, the quality of pharmacists we want. So I'm actually quite excited when I looked at your theme there, transforming the policy, practice, and patient safety, because at the end of the day, it's about pharmacists providing a good quality service to our patients through the quality education and the quality service and the correct policies which ensure that we have got a good uh, pharmacy practice in our region. Thank you very much for affording me this time. Then looking at 2024, we have uh, the FIP conference being hosted by Africa. The conference will be in Cape Town in South Africa from the 1st to the 4th of September. So please diarize that. Even when you meet in your conferences and your meetings, let's remind each other to register as soon as possible. The earlier we register, the better. It's also cheaper uh, when you register early, when you look at our conference fees. The information is available on a www.fip.org. You'll find information about FIP and the conference which Africa is hosting. We're actually proud uh, that uh, for, the, for a very long time, uh, Africa has not hosted FIP. And this is the first time the Southern region is hosting uh, FIP. We've been all over the, uh, the world attending FIP conferences. And this year, we are the host, Africa. And that will be based in Cape Town. So let's be there. Let's plan to be there. And let's meet in Cape Town in September from the, fourth, from the 1st to the 4th of September. I look forward to welcoming all of you in our meeting as APF. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Thank you very much, Muslim. And we look forward to seeing you and other pharmacists from Africa at uh, the PSK conference uh, from the 10th to the 14th of June. Thank so you so much. We, we go into the program now, the main program, and we start by giving you a brief overview of, uh, we'll take you through a brief overview of, of the conference. And uh, on your screen, you see the agenda and we aim to finish by eight. So hang in tight and fasten your seat belts for this amazing ride. Let's start with the slides, please. So we have, we have an amazing team um, we have an amazing team uh, of uh, pharmacists who have been put together for uh, this year's conference. And uh, I welcome uh, the co-chair for this conference, Pro Professor Silvio Opanga, uh, to talk a little bit about the PSK and ISPE uh, relationship. Thank you, Prof. Thank you, Dr. Nies, for the opportunity and thank you Jocelyn and thank you Kwame for taking your time to be with us here as Kenya. We are very excited to co-host the conference this year with ISPI, but also to have FIP on board. So as PSK members, you uh, have a lot of um, interactions with international delegates in areas where you choose to, um, you choose to put your focus on and probably further specialize. Uh, just, uh, can I just get to the next slide, please? I had a set of slides. So um, to begin this meeting, I will just um, highlight on how I joined ISPE. The various ISPE conferences we've attended highlight the many benefits I've had together with other colleagues from Kenya, talk about our, our collaboration and then uh, we'll move further to specifics on the conference. So basically, I, I joined ISPI about six years ago in 2018. We had joined a meet, we had joined a conference. Um, we actually had a joint conference with ISPI. It's not the first ISPI joint conference in Africa. I belong to a group called Medicines Utilization and Research in Africa. And through this group, we have done extensive research uh, in different African countries, European countries, and Asian countries on many topics, including uh, infectious disease, um, a non-communicable disease, cancers, diabetes, et al. And so it's, it's when I joined this group in 2017, and we had a conference in, I think it was the second or third conference in 2018 in Namibia. And it is at that point that we had our interaction with ISPI and ISPI was able to get on board. And they actually told us about what the International Society for Pharmacoepidemiology is. And since then I've really learned a lot about pharmacoepidemiology, including the fact that in Africa, we are uh, University of Nairobi is among the first universities to host a pharmacoepidemiology course. So for us, that was a very good um, collaboration. So I joined this in 2018. And um, at that point, 2017, 2018, I had just uh, completed my PhD. And what ISP does is that um, it offers scholarships to students to attend their uh, scientific conferences. And they define a student as someone either who is still in school studying their undergraduate master's or PhD, and they extend the studentship scholarships to three years after you have graduated. So I was able to um, benefit from that, and it expanded my international exposure in the field of pharmacoepidemiology. Um, we've had several conferences since then, uh, we formed the ISP Africa group uh, in 2018, of which now I'm the East African lead and Kwame is our overall lead. It's benefited me in many ways, including uh, collaborations internationally, publications, just meeting people and expanding networks 
and um, last year in September, the main ISP conference in Canada was actually awarded for the work that I've done to impact uh, public health in pharmacoepidemiology. So I thought, why can't I extend this to members of PSK so that they also get the, high, the same high level exposure? And we began having talks with ISP officials about 2019 uh, on when Kenya is going to host this conference. Previously, uh, we had South Africa host it. And just before that, um, we had the pandemic come in between. So we could have hosted this earlier, co-hosted this earlier rather, but the pandemic came in and after it fizzled out sort of, then we uh, came in with the ISP group to talk about how do we collaborate? How do Kenyans also benefit and other Africans and also East Africans, how do they benefit from the immense uh, knowledge that ISP has to give? So that's what happened. Um, so just looking at the overview of what we intend to do as a joint conference, we have pre-conference uh, courses, which will be given by uh, high level delegates from ISP, as well as some of us from Kenya. Um, abstract submission, um, just to highlight quickly that abstracts are usually graded. So abstracts should be very high quality and we've had uh, webinars which have actually highlighted how to uh, develop an abstract. And if your abstract is among the very good ones, it's published in the Pharmacoepidemiology and Drug Safety Journal of ISPE. And also FIP will uh, publish the accepted conference abstract on their journal as well. And this will also give our, our pharmacists an opportunity to present at the FIP conference in South Africa. ISPE still gives scholarships to students. And I have mentioned how do we define students undergraduate, postgraduate, um, in session, out of session, three years post-graduation, you qualify. But uh, for these scholarships, you must have submitted an, an abstract that is accepted. So I ask that our PSK members to be very uh, keen on this. We also have plenary presentations by top experts from PSK, ISP, and also FIP. And we will host a PSK is the President's Forum to see how can our leaders learn from each other and how can we grow both pharmacy and pharmacoepidemiology and work jointly as we move forward. I will have to stop there. Thank you very much, Anise. And if you have any questions, I'll address them at the end. Hey, thank you so much, uh, Professor Sylvia. And it's, uh, once again, it's, it's an honor to be serving on the same team with you uh, to deliver this conference. Um, our next presenter, um, I'll just wait for the slide to come up. <clears throat> our next present, and our next presenter is going to be Dr. Ermias. Uh, Dr. Ermias uh, is with USIU and also uh, been very active in, in, in doing this uh, conference, and I will let you take it away, Dr. Hermias. Thank you, Dr. Ranis, and good evening, uh, all esteemed colleagues. And hope it's not late to say Happy New Year to everyone, and uh, wish you a very nice uh, New Year. So my talk will be very, uh, very short and to the point, especially with regard to abstract submission. And for most of you who have attended uh, the last presentation in terms of uh, submitting high impact abstract, the detail was presented. But let me ask some important questions and I'll try to answer as I go through these slides. Uh, the first one is, who is eligible to submit an abstract? Whom are we really looking for when we talk of abstract submission? You have heard from Prof. Sylvia that uh, students can seek for uh, scholarship. So we expect a number of BFARM master students who finish their PhD, who completed their research, are eligible to apply, uh, submit their abstract. Okay, if you have done 
you research work, then you can just write, draft, and submit the abstract. Not only students, but still practicing pharmacists can also submit their abstract. Those in hospital, I'm sure you have a lot of uh, case studies to present. Those who work in pharmaceutical industries, you might have some case series, uh, some things to be shared. So you can opt to look for a short topic, a very impactful topic, then to present it or to submit for an oral presentation or a poster presentation. We have the two options. So uh, those in pharmacovigilance, pharmacoepidemiology areas, or oncology pharmacy, you are all welcome to submit a short write-up for an abstract because in the conference, we are expecting a number of abstractors, either for oral or poster presentation. When it comes to the structure, very few important points. Kindly structure your abstract. Number one, in, in, in it should have a background. What the research is all about. What is the statement of the problem you are trying to address on that on that abstract? It's maybe one to three statements. Then brief of the objective. What was the goal of the work? And then you can have a small, uh, maybe a paragraph talking about the method. What are the research design, the sampling, the data collection, maybe how you analyze the data. Then finally, you can present the, your key findings. You know, in abstract, we don't need tables, figures, no citations. Just you can indicate what are the key results, the findings, and finally, what are you anticipating to conclude? And also, it will be very nice if you add keywords, maybe five keywords, which can help uh, because at the end of the day, this abstract will be will be compiled in a book of abstracts, will be published, so you will get a big visibility. So when you think of submitting abstract, also ask yourself, why should I submit an abstract? That is very important, you know? As a professional submitting an abstract, for example, from my experience, I think I've attended more than uh, 15 conference proceeding abstracts, presenting locally, international, face-to-face, -face, online, even physical uh, presentation of uh, abstracts in the US. So what is the benefit of uh, submitting an abstract and coming to a scientific conference and presentation? Number one, it builds network, it builds confidence. I remember last year, a young pharmacist, just a fresh, just a graduate from JQuad, presenting on his work on MTM, which was so fantastic. So I expect to see a number of young graduates to present. The other thing also, you, at the end of your, uh, after your abstract is accepted, and if you manage to present your work, you will get certificate of recognition, recognizing that you have uh, submitted and presented an abstract. And also you'll get an additional CPD point on top of attending the conference. So these are some of the benefits. Finally, uh, the next slide, uh, the deadline for submitting an abstract is on 2nd of April, uh, but we'll start communicating uh, the no because uh, students might look for scholarship or international delegates need to, to, to plan for, for the conference. So will be notifying the outcome of the abstract as soon as March. So I request everyone to be motivated. And also you can indicate on the comment session on the chat if you are still interested to submit an abstract. I request to see some of you typing, I'm interested, so we can know how many of you will be interested. But feel free, we are here to support. I, myself, Prof. Sylvia, we have Kwame, we have a big team who are ready to support those uh, interested ones who need support in terms of how you need to structure your abstract, in terms of submitting, we can provide that support. And we'll have a continuous webinars on the same. So feel free to share your comment on the symposium email address. Hope it will be shared later on. And uh, let me stop on that one. Thank you and back to you, Chair, uh, Dr. Anis. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Hermias. Um, towards the end, you will see the symposium. Uh, here we go. The symposium email address, uh, symposium at psk.or.ke, or you can message the phone number there, and we will, we will try as much as we can to help you.
to to put your abstract together. We will not put it together for you, but we will help you to to put it together for you. Um, before I, I go on uh, to the next speaker, I want to, uh, I have just seen that Prosper has joined us. Uh, welcome Prosper and maybe I give you two minutes to say hello to everyone and tell us where you're from and how excited you are to be in Kenya for the conference in June. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, yes, Prosper, I can hear you, go ahead. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry to, to enter too late to the, in the meeting, but uh, I cannot follow you because I'm on, on, the, on the way to Yaoundé, from Douala to Yaoundé. I have a tax issue. I have to go to the, the main city of the country to solve that issue. I'm traveling 20, 20, 240 kilometers. It would not be easy for me to follow you, but uh, next time I will do my best to be with you. Okay, great. Thank you, Pospa. Uh, speaking to us from uh, Cameroon, and uh, it's comforting to know that tax issues are not only in Kenya, but also in Cameroon. And uh, we welcome you to join our webinar on Thursday when uh, you can ask KRA uh, your questions. Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Thank um, you for your understanding. Okay. Great. Thank I know you. that you, you. In Kenya, you are doing well in school, pharmacy, education. Just continue, just go forward. It's a very good example. Great. Thank for you so time. much. Thank you. My, my congratulations to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so You're welcome. Um, we go on with the program. Um, I'll talk just briefly at a very high level about uh, the program. Day one, which is Monday the 10th of June, is day one of the pre-conference. Uh, this year's pre-conference is more about learning. Uh, we're going to have, uh, we're going to have uh, East Bay topics uh, and also PSK topics. Uh, and as we go closer, you will be able to see the program in more detail, but this is a very high level uh, program that you see uh, mm -hmm. on day one. Um, and each of these things that are listed here will be talked, out, talked about in more detail by the different presenters after me. Uh, then we have day two uh, of the program. Uh, again, uh, pre-conference and very similar to uh, day one. Um, only the, the events, uh, the topics will change during the day and a detail program will be up in due course. Uh, then we go to day three of the conference, but day one of the conference proper, um, which is the Wednesday. And this is when we will have the first day of the conference. Uh, there will be breakouts, there will be uh, learning, so topics, not abstract only, but also specific topics of common interest to everyone and uh, some fun activities that will we'll talk about in detail. Uh, then we have day two of the conference, which is the Thursday. And uh, again, pretty much similar to uh, day one. Um, and uh, we have some very good keynote presentations. And if you are coming to do a reunion for class of 1980 or HOPAC or whichever reunions are happening at the same time on the sidelines, uh, this evening would be the evening to schedule when you want to do it. Because all the other evenings we have something going on, but this evening, the Thursday evening is an evening which is free. Uh, so that would be a good day for you to schedule those kind of get togethers or reunions. And then we have the last day of the conference, uh, which is the Friday and uh, two very important events uh, that will happen here. The Friday afternoon will be a uh, closed PSK session for uh, venting and eventing. And then uh, uh, we close with a gala dinner and award ceremony. Um, that's just a brief overview of the conference. And now we go into the specific details of each of the conference activities and how to participate.
Okay, the game changer uh, and of this year's conference is the Oxford Abstracts Portal, and I invite Dr. Anne Masiadera uh, to take us through uh, the Oxford Abstracts Portal and tell us more about it. Uh, Anne Masi. Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today. I'm happy to see all of you. So, um, as we had earlier hinted. Uh, most, if not uh, all of the activity that you're going to have for the conference will happen in the Oxford Abstract, which is a, a new pl a, a platform that we are working with. And we're going to see some of the advantages or some of the things that made us go for the Oxford Abstract. Now, to begin with, um, please, to, to the next slide. To begin with, uh, most all the official communication will be done by the conference organizing committee. Uh, as it stands currently, we are working with uh, most of our social media channels. I'm sure even to join this meeting, then you must have been uh, on one of our social media channels. We also have partners and friends who will be sharing all this conference information with you and with as wide an audience as we can reach. So we'll have a lot of information being posted by ISPE, being posted by FIP. And for this conference, we decided to theme it Diamond White. All right, uh, well, you can go and find out wh what Diamond White represents and you will see why we chose this as the theme color for the conference. So as you run through uh, these social media for the different uh, partners, then if it is uh, Diamond White in color, then it represents our conference and you can quickly click on it and see uh, the communication that has been passed. Now, um, once uh, uh, our, our delegate registration and registration for the conference will be done through the Oxford Abstract Portal. Um, and once you are admitted into the Oxford Abstract Portal, then more and more communication will be passed to you through the, your individual Oxford Abstract Portal. We're going to talk more about this and we're going to see how this will happen. Now, uh, once you go into the Oxford Abstract Portal, then you'll give me a new name and you'll be calling me admin and I will always be there to assist you with any uh, uh, challenges that you may experience or anything that you may need. Now, further, and this is one thing that I'm really excited about, we are soon going to launch our theme song and dance competition. Yes, we are hoping that all of you can come out and show us your creative self. We, we don't want to be all work, work, work and no play. So we are looking uh, forth to uh, someone giving us something that is fun. We want something that people will enjoy, something that people will dance to. We want something that will make this conference really memorable. We want to create a trend, a long lasting trend with this conference. So we will be launching our theme song and dance soon. And uh, uh, we hope that you will participate and uh, just make this conference fun for everyone. Now, other than that, uh, uh, subsequent communications will be done through uh, pre-conference webinars, like the one that we are having today, where we'll be able to guide you through uh, different uh, aspects of the conference that you we may deem necessary, uh, either from the conference uh, com organizing committee or from you as members. For that which you see as something that you need, say, for example, uh, you're not very comfortable with the registration process or you're not comfortable with abstract submission, then you can always reach out to us and we can always organize this pre-conference uh, webinars. Now, um, Dr. Ermias has uh, gone into the details of abstract submission. There is a particular way in which we expect your abstract to look and that will guide uh, our grading of the abstract. Uh, we had done an, a, a training uh, on abstract submission. This was uh, back in late uh, December. And uh, as we speak, uh, one of our, of our team members will share the link to that training, which should be available on, uh, on our YouTube channel, on the PSK uh, YouTube channel. Now, once you have created an account on the Oxford Abstract and you have submitted your abstract, then further communication regarding your abstract will be done to your email or it will be communicated through your Oxford Abstract portal. Now, further as we continue, and once you, you are able to register 
or uh, once you are able to register and you are considered a delegate in the Oxford Abstract platform, you'll be able to view the conference program. And uh, this conference program will allow you to see what is being present, uh, exactly what is being presented at a given time. For example, we, we will be you'll be able to see on Monday uh, afternoon at 12 o'clock, Professor Opanga will be presenting, and this event will be sponsored by uh, the University of Nairobi, for example. And you can go further and, uh, and click on that session. You can be able to see the abstract that will be presented at that given time. And you can go further and decide to talk to uh, Professor Opanga, understand a little bit more about her work. All right. So uh, the Oxford abstract, once you, you are able to register as a delegate, will give you all of these privileges that allow you to uh, interact with uh, conference uh, presenters. Now, other than that, uh, we have another very interesting feature in the in the conference program. Uh, sorry, we, we will also be able to view uh, the different sponsors in in the that that will be sponsoring the session as i said uh, for example if dr panga is presenting and that session is being sponsored by the university of nairobi then you'll also be able to see uh, this uh, uh, program sponsor other than that we have the networking feature on the oxford abstract uh once you are logged in as a delegate or once you are registered and fully paid and you are accepted as a delegate on the oxford abstract you'll be able to interact with other delegates all right as well as interact with exhibitors now you find that uh, for you to be able to interact with other delegates then you need to uh, really communicate well and for you to communicate well, then uh, there is a need for you to uh, establish a profile. So we'll give you an option of either developing your Oxford Abstract profile from scratch, or if you are comfortable with your Facebook or your LinkedIn profile, and you feel that it fully represents you, then we can help you import that profile into the Oxford Abstract. So that this is what people see, and uh, uh, it will encourage them to form more interactions with you. For example, we can decide to import Dr. Ermias's profile and say, you know, I'm Dr. Ermias, USIU, I specialize in molecular pharmacology, but I love to dance, all right? And so people who love to dance can be able to pick this up and decide to uh, start chatting with Dr. Ermias. So it will be a very open platform where you're able to reach all of these delegates who are registered on the Oxford Abstract. Now, we also have uh, interactions with exhibitors. Now, much like, um, uh, much like uh, the physical conference where you have exhibitors setting up booths, all right, and you go into a booth and you speak to the exhibitor, we are going to have what you're referring to as a virtual exhibitor gallery. So all these exhibitors who want to come for our conference will be with you in the Oxford Abstract. And in your free time, you can go into the exhibitor gallery and you can be able to talk with all these different exhibitors uh, and, and, and look at uh, what they have to offer you in the conference and uh, in other uh, interactions. Now, uh, as I said again, when you get into the Oxford Abstracts, uh, most of the time you'll be referring to me as admin and I'll be there ready and able to help you set up your profile. And once all this is said and done, you have met all these delegates, you have made friends, you have come to the conference, you have enjoyed all of what we have planned, then we'll issue you with a beautiful, beautiful certificate that will acknowledge your attendance as well as the knowledge that you have gained for the conference. Now, uh, if you'll allow me a minute, I will quickly show you what the registration process will look like once we launch registration. Please let me know if my screen is visible. Yeah, we can see it, thank you. That's perfect. So uh, much like the link that you clicked to register for our meeting today, this, uh, the, a link will be shared for registration into the conference. Now, if you had submitted an abstract 
through the Oxford abstract for our event, then you already have an account with the Oxford abstract, in which case you will simply put your email and put your uh, password and you'll be ready to go and register for the conference. Now, if this is your first time interacting with the Oxford abstract, then you want to go for the create an account option. You can choose any of these options. Uh, for example, uh, you can choose to go with Google and uh, you can choose now to create your account. It will ask you uh, the standard questions that uh, any um, uh, platform would ask. It will ask for your email, you'll create a new password. And once you do all this, then um, you will uh, you will get a prompt on your phone and you'll be able to confirm that you are creating an account with Oxford Abstracts. So this is what it will look like once you confirm that you're creating an account with Oxford Abstracts and you can go further and continue. Now, once you continue, you will land on our delegate registration page. Now on the delegate registration page, uh, first of all, to confirm that you're in the right place, you will land on our banner for the event. And further, we have gone into details to describe the different tickets, all right? And the different things that a ticket will cover. So we'll have different events for the different evenings and uh, you can go ahead and read this information. And once you're satisfied with what you have seen, you can decide to buy a ticket. Now, once you decide to buy a ticket, uh, I must warn you that, uh, for example, uh, our early bird tickets will run up to a given time. And once that time expires, the early bird tickets will no longer be available for you to buy. So we'll go, on, we'll move on to the other group of tickets. So as it stands, I have only made available a few tickets for our demonstration today. For example, uh, I can decide to buy a PSK full member uh, early bird ticket for the full conference from day one to day five. And maybe I want to buy uh, just one ticket. Once I'm done with that, uh, I can decide to continue. Now, once you continue, there will be a prompt. It depends. Are you buying this ticket for yourself or are you buying this ticket for someone else? You know, you might be an intern and the chief pharmacist asks you to book them uh, a ticket for the conference, yes? So uh, maybe you're not buying this event, uh, this ticket for yourself, all right? So you'll check this box. And once you check this box, you'll fill in the email of the person for whom you're buying the ticket. You'll fill in their name and you'll be able to um, either fill the registration form for them or allow them to fill the registration form. So what if this is off, this person uh, will receive a notification in their email asking them, to fill in the registration form for the conference. But if you have these details of the person, then you can simply fill in the registration form. Now, assuming I'm buying the ticket for myself, then uh, it will auto-populate uh, some of the details that were already there. And there are some of these events uh, that are sponsored. So we would like to know whether or not you'll join us for the sponsored events. Uh, maybe I actually want to join you for the sponsored events. So I buy a ticket for that as well which we are referring to as add-ons, then now you come in to fill in the registration form. Maybe I prefer not to say my gender. I prefer that you refer to me as prof. I want to give my WhatsApp number. Uh, I am from Kenya. And my number is... Uh, okay. And uh, I happen to be a member of PSK. And my registration number is 5,000. And I agree to the terms and conditions of the conference. Now we added these extra questions for those who will be joining us uh, from outside of Kenya. Maybe currently I practice in regulatory affairs. And lastly, we are going to request you to upload a beautiful picture of yourself that we will put onto your uh, name tag, which you will be using uh, throughout the conference.
So I can decide to upload a very beautiful picture of myself. Now, this is optional. If you're not very comfortable with pictures, then it's okay. You don't have to upload that. Now, once you have done all this, you can come and check on your ticket. You can see that you have picked the five-day uh, full conference for a full um, a PSK member. And you have also decided to come in for the games night and the dinner gala. And this will be the total amount that we'll be expecting you to pay. Now, once you're done filling all this, you want to click on continue. And once you click continue, it will uh, allow you to make payments. Other than allowing you to make payments, you'll also be able to print a summary invoice of, uh, of the choices that you have made. Now, you can choose to make the payment immediately. And these are not all the payment options that we have. We have, uh, we will, uh, uh, once we open registration, you're also going to have the invoice payment option. Now, the invoice payment option will allow you to pay by check. It will allow you to pay by M-Pesa. It will allow you to pay by RTGS. So that option will also be available here. But if you don't want to pay immediately, you can simply print out your conference invoice. And this conference invoice will look something like this. All right, so it will uh, it will it will have a few of the questions that we had requested to have on the invoice and the details of the delegates and the amount that you are expected to pay. And once you make the payment, then you will be accepted into the Oxford Abstract as a registered delegate. After which, uh, 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 after which you'll be able to enjoy all the benefits that I have talked about. So that brings me to the end of my. Uh, uh, presentation today. I hope it has been impactful. And if there are any questions, I am sure uh, you you have been, uh, um, uh, it has been uh, highlighted on how you can reach us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, and mercy uh, for that uh, excellent uh, presentation. It has been a long journey to where we are. Uh, I just want to uh, clarify that if you choose the early bird ticket and then you wait until the early bird is off over, uh, that ticket will be, uh, and you have not yet paid, the ticket will be auto cancelled and you will have to now put in your ticket again. Uh, you'll need to now re-register uh, with the regular rate. If your regular rate uh, ends and you're still not paid, again, it will cancel and you'll now go into the on-site uh, package so please pay as soon as you you take your ticket to avoid any inconveniences um next uh, we have uh, dr clary sambali uh, who is uh, going to speak to us about registration and the processes and the costs uh, clary take it away thank you dr Neve. good evening everyone and thank you for joining us for this webinar uh, Dr. Anne Massey has done justice to the registration process on the Oxford abstract, so I won't belabor that. However, I would like to emphasize that there will be no manual on-site registration at White Sands. We expect everyone to register on the Oxford abstract platform. Even if you'll be doing it in Mombasa, you'll still have to go to the website and I mean to the portal and register there. So kindly let's familiarize ourselves with the portal. Feel free to reach out to us and we'll clarify the process and make it smooth for all of us. Um, so this will also help us to avoid crowding at the registration desk and will only maybe allow delegates to collect merchandise such as bags and the programs if they'll be printed. So uh, no registration will happen on site, as I've mentioned. Next slide. I think uh, Dr. Masi has covered that. Uh, we request that we take advantage of the early bird rates. I'll be talking about the, the rates in the next slide. Again, this has been shown already by Dr. Massey. After you do your registration, an invoice will be generated and then you'll be able to pay before it expires. So I'll quickly go through the uh, costs. So we have three types of tickets. We have the early bird ticket running from 31st of January, which is tomorrow. 
to 25th of March. We have the regular ticket running from 26th of March to 30th of May. And finally, the on-site tickets, which we don't encourage very much, from 1st of June to 12th of June. We have four categories of delegates. One, we have the PSK members, and we'll be running uh, the pre-conference and also the conference. So if you opt to only come for the conference, which is from 12th to 14th, as a PSK paid up member, you will be required to pay 24,000. If you come for both the pre-conference and the conference, then you'll be required to pay 40,000 Kenya shillings. For associate members, and associate members refer to the following. These are the associate members according to PSK. We have students in the various schools of pharmacy, graduates and interns undergoing their training at the various institutions, and young pharmacists with a registration number above 4,000. I wonder how many are in-house today. Maybe you can raise up your hand and we recognize you as our associate members. So I hope you've noted the three categories of associate members that will be required to pay 18,000 Kenya shillings for the three-day conference. And if they opt to come for the pre-conference and the conference, they'll be paying 30,000 Kenya shillings. Then we have African delegates. These are non-Kenyans and also non-PSK members. If you are a pharmacist but you're not a PSK member, then you'll fall under an African delegate. Or if you are a non-pharmacist, any other healthcare worker, any cadre of healthcare workers that would like to come to our conference, then they'll be treated as African delegates and they'll pay 36,000 Kenya shillings for the three-day conference and uh, 60,000 Kenya shillings for the pre-conference and conference. And finally, we have our international delegates. Uh, keeping in mind that we are collaborating with ESPE, so we are expecting quite a number of international delegates who will be paying 48,000 Kenya shillings or an equivalent of 300 US dollars at the current exchange rate. And if they're coming for the five-day conference, both the conference and the pre-conference, then they'll pay 80,000 Kenya shillings or an equivalent of 500, Kenya, 500 US dollars at the current exchange rates. Of course, that might change by June based on how our shilling fares against the dollar. Then we have the regular tickets and the on-site tickets. So you can see the cost increases uh, as time goes by. So I would urge all of us to take advantage of the early bird race and register and pay by 25th of March so that we can save some coins. I hope we can all see the rates. I don't have to go through each ticket uh, per delegate category. Thank you very much and see you in Mombasa. Over. Uh, thank you so much, Clarice. Um, all these slides uh, will be shared uh, so that uh, you have all the details uh, at the click of a button. Uh, our next presentation is going to be uh, by Dr. Jaspreet. This, Dr. Jaspreet joins us from uh, Mombasa. Uh, she's uh, been an instrumental part of this team, and all our activities in Mombasa logistics are being handled by uh, Dr. Jaspreet. Uh, over to you, Dr. Jaspreet. Thank you very much, Dr. Anis. Good evening, members. Um, I will be presenting on the venues with respect to your accommodation needs. I will also be sharing some exciting events uh, that will take place at the conference for you to experience. Um, so let me start with my first slide, please. Okay. Since our annual conference will be at White Sands, we hope to have you all stay at the venue. The rates for White Sands have been quoted for bed and breakfast and half board at 15,000 and 18,000 respectively. The cost quoted on the slide um, is for a standard room facing the exotic gardens. However, there are superior and deluxe rooms also available. These have a different cost, which will be reflected on our website once you make your bookings. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, as a committee, we realize that White Sands will not able will not be able to accommodate the large number of delegates we're expecting in this year's conference, um, and therefore we have approached other hotels, including a self catering option for our members, which is the Kauri Apartments. 
uh, all the hotels we have chosen are in walking distance from White Sands, and therefore the conference venue is easily accessible from the beach. Uh, the courts for travelers, Bamburi, Kenya Bay, and Severin once again offer standard rooms. Should any delegates wish to, uh, wish to upgrade, uh, the rates that will be available on our website, like I said before. Okay. Next slide, please. As far as the matter of travel is concerned, we are working diligently and very soon you will be able to book your hotel room as well as choose the form of travel simultaneously and be able to pay for both. Um, as a team, we are currently negotiating rates with KQ and JumboJet and hoping to offer discounted tickets to our delegates. Uh, we will communicate our progress with respect to flights and SGR tickets in the near future. Next slide, please. Okay, coming to the fun part. Uh, we've put together some exciting evenings for all of you. Our first excursion will be on the 10th of June. We offer you a dining experience you will never forget on the Dow, which will leave from the Tamarind Hotel in Yali, offering you both seafood and vegetarian cuisines prepared in a Swahili style for you to enjoy under a warm starlit sky in Mombasa. The rates for this will also be on our website. Next slide, please. Um, coming to our cultural night, my favorite. So Kenya is made up of a rich mosaic of different people, each representing unique cultures, which when brought together, add up to the overall vibrancy of our country. We are proud to boast 42 officially recognized tribes in Kenya. Each of these tribes has their own unique language, cultural practices, staple foods, and style of dress, dance, music, and instruments. We therefore invite you to enjoy this unique experience that we have put together for you as part of our cultural night, which will happen on the 12th of June. Last but not least, the next slide, please. Uh, we have also organized an afternoon for you to enjoy amidst nature. We inv invite you to the Hela Park, no well, known very well for its lush forest and better known for its wildlife. Uh, here you will experience a chance to feed giraffes, walk amidst antelopes, feed tilapia, and enjoy a beautiful walk through the thriving ecosystem of the Hela Park. Thank you. This brings me to the end of my presentation. I look forward to seeing you all in this year's conference. Thank you. Back to you, Dr. Nies. Thank you. Thank you for that presentation. Um, as Jaspreet mentioned, uh, we will be sharing this on uh, the website and on the portal uh, so that you can have everything uh, available to you as you make your decision to attend the conference. Uh, and remember, early uh, the early bird catches the worm. So uh, that's going to be quite instrumental as you go on this journey with us. Uh, next, we have the youngest uh, pharmacist on our team. Uh, Dr. Sheila Wangeshi, uh, she is going to be talking about the different types of activities we have in the conference. Sheila? Uh, thank you, Chair. Um, so I'll be talking about the different activities that we'll be having within the conference. Uh, next slide. So as you all know, uh, PSK is celebrating 60 years. And it's our diamond anniversary. So we will have a cake cutting session and we'll also have a photo session uh, to celebrate the event and to mark this anniversary. Uh, next slide. We shall also be having an activity uh, called uh, table networking. So this is a group networking session which will allow delegates to connect with each other. Delegates will be seated in tables and each a uh, table will be assigned an, an individual who will spearhead the networking session just to be able to get to know each other better, to share ideas, to interact, to know where someone is coming from, what they do, how they're like for international delegates to get to learn how pharmacy is in their country and stuff like that. Uh, next slide. Uh, we'll also be having um, quiz sessions in between 
uh, conference uh, breakout session after plenary sessions just to kind of like uh, break the ice we'll have kahoot we'll have a mentimeter just to kind of um, make the sessions a bit more interesting and a bit more lively for the delegates next slide We'll also be having a team building sessions at the end of uh, the conference, uh, probably at the beach, could be at one side just to try and um, engage the delegates in different activities, could be tug of war, um, they could be other fun games that we can play together just um, as a way of uh, bringing people together and to be able to enjoy even just being at the coast. Next slide. Um, we'll also have um, another variation of speed networking, uh, kind of like the one we did last year for World Pharmacy Day. We'll also try, we'll also do this um, at the coast, uh, which will mainly have the, the younger pharmacists, the senior. This time we'll be lucky enough to have foreign pharmacists and pharmacoepidemiologists to participate. So I really hope most of you will turn up for this because it will be a, a nice quick fire way of getting to know who has come to the conference. Next. We'll also have a game night, um, a lot of activities to do. We'll have board games, we'll have card games, trivia games, and so much more just to allow us to unwind and just have a fun session. And I'm sure a lot of people who are competitive will really thrive at this. Um, next slide. And then the final night, we'll finally, we'll um, have our gala dinner and our award ceremony. So we'll be, celebrating the PSK Dam on the anniversary and uh, the dress code will be elegant and uh, we'll also award uh, pharmacists for their achievements throughout the year. Yeah. Uh, thank you, that's the end of my presentation. Uh, thank you, Sheila. Um, so CPD points for the conference will be awarded uh, based on a lot of these activities. So uh, please make sure you attend and sign up and be counted. Uh, one of the games that uh, there's a question that somebody has asked, will there be spin the bottle and drinking games? So we'll, we'll, we'll consider that. Our next presentation uh, is going to be by the person who is going, is leading the effort to, is leading the effort to make sure that uh, we have this conference, we have the money to have this conference and uh, that the rates that we have quoted are sustainable. So Dr. Rebecca Musioki is going to talk to us about the different opportunities for sponsorship. Rebecca. Thank you, Dr. Anis, and good evening, everyone. So as you all had, it's going to be big, going to be exciting, there's going to be a lot of learning, and we're going to have a lot of delegates both coming from local and also having international delegates. And as such, we are going to require resources to make this app happen and to make sure that even that the rates that we've given are going to hold. So in that we are we are looking for people who we are looking for people who we can work with uh, as partners for this conference. And here we are targeting individuals, we are targeting corporates, both in the pharma and in the non-pharma. We are also targeting ag academic institutions who would like to partner with us to make this conference happen. And what we've done is we've come up with tailored sponsor packages uh, ranging from bronze, which will be uh, going for 250,000 to the title sponsor, which will be going for 4 million uh, shillings. So what will be uh, the value proposition for our sponsors? Apart from giving us the resources to make this happen, what is in it for the sponsors? Because that becomes very important. So we are going to, uh, 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 from the beginning from bronze, you're going to have exhibition booths, we are going to have uh, exclusive visibility for our sponsors. And as you've seen even from the program, uh, this year we are introducing what we are calling a virtual exhibition gallery. That means even before the conference, our sponsors will be able to interact with our delegates pre-conference and even uh, during the conference and even sometime after the conference. Uh, another thing is we are going to have interactive sessions uh, 
hosted by the sponsors. You've seen the Mentimeter and Kahoots. All this is going to be facilitated by our sponsor. And also several uh, sponsored events like the Gala Dinner. That's also a very good opportunity for our sponsors. So uh, for our sponsor who is willing to work with us, uh, to partner with us, we are, we, are, we are assuring them brand visibility and an audience of up to 800 participants uh, per day. Uh, next slide. And there are uh, various sponsorship opportunities, and I'd like to highlight these ones. We are looking for also, in addition to the regular sponsors, we are looking for cocktail sponsors. We're also hosting a gala dinner, a cultural night. We are looking for sponsors for that. Uh, a polo shirt sponsor. If you want visibility during the conference for everyone to be wearing your polo shirt, there goes your opportunity. And you're also looking for a sponsor who can get the bags. So everyone will just be carrying your bag. Uh, next slide. So for this, there are several sponsors that we have already reached out to. I know I've already talked to some of you, but for the ones that have not have not been able to reach, we'll be sharing this out. This will be our call for sponsors, and we'll be sharing with you the various sponsorship packages as well as our concept note for the conference. And we are going to sit down with you and see, okay, what what are your aims as a sponsor? What would you like to achieve through this conference? And we'll be able to sit with you and custom make something that works for us as well as works for you. So that's our, our number there, our email address and our sponsor. And I'll urge each one and, and all of us, I know you know some people like to partner with us, but they perhaps may not be in the conference. Please send them their way and we will appreciate your effort. Thank you and back to you, Anis. Uh, thank you, Rebecca. Uh, it was a struggle not to call you Dorothy, but uh, thank you very much uh, for that. We look forward to everyone's support and we look forward to everyone reaching out to their uh, network so we can increase our net worth. Um, we have, uh, I think we have come to the end of all the slides. Um, we can now, uh, I think we can now go to the question and answer uh, portion. Um, if you have any questions you you have, you can put it on the uh, on the chat box. I'll take the ones that are already on the chat box. And try and answer them uh, as quickly as. Don't forget to send CPD points and still update the meeting on the PPV portal. We've taken note of that. As soon as uh, the the board uh, approves, we will. Uh, we will, we will update you. Um, from Wycliffe, Wick can you negotiate the hotel rates we have? And the rates that you saw are the negotiated hotel rates. Please remember that when we were talking to the hotel hotels, the $1 was 150. Uh, today, I think $1 is 170. So uh, we, have, we are struggling to keep those rates and uh, we're waiting to sign the contracts before we can, um, we can uh, we we can publicize the rates, uh, Doctor Nilesh. There is a rate. Uh, it was not on the on the sheet, the double room for white sands, but it will be when we have the rates posted. It will be there. Um, the to submit the abstract, do we have to pay first, or paying is for buying the ticket? Uh, MS is answering you, and uh, you will see the answer there shortly. Just a clarification, do conference fees uh, include accommodation? Uh, no. Uh, when do we receive the, the link to the abstract submission? It's already there, we'll have, uh, we'll have the link reposted. The link is already ready. So we will repost the link for abstract submission. The abstract is already open. You are able to submit your, your abstract. Uh, how much will it cost for a pharmacist to be on board? Uh, on board, uh, maybe June, you can clarify what you mean on board uh, because it's on board means on board the DAO. We don't know the, uh, the exact rate yet, but it will be around 7,500 for that night for the board, if you're talking about the DAO. Um, I think those are, can one person take more 
make more than one abstract. Hermes is typing that answer, you'll get it. Uh, maybe Hermes, you can just take the stage and answer those that are to do with abstracts. Um, associate members, I'm going to let uh, the CEO uh, answer that in her closing remarks. Can you negotiate a family package for those who want to travel with their families? Uh, the rates are negotiated, but send us your request on the email address and which hotel you are considering, and we can put a special request out to some of the hotels to include children. Um, the clarify and associate member is the other question. Um, I think Ivy will answer that again. Can one change from three days to five days later after paying early? Uh, yes, you'll, you will, you can change, but you will, you will pay according to you will pay according to when you change. So the if the rate was twenty thousand more, then you'll pay twenty thousand more as opposed to sixteen thousand more. Um, yes, the, the link for submissions is been posted on the chat, but we will also send it by the WhatsApp groups. Uh, will there be a product demo or some kind of, of what is it? Panel, something like how many minutes? Um, I think Peter is talking about uh, a sponsorship. Uh, issue if i'm not mistaken uh, kindly if you can just reach out via the email and uh, rebecca or somebody in her team will get through to you um, if that is a sponsorship uh, request okay i think those are it if I, i'll give it to you ermias uh, maybe you can just answer the questions that are dealing with the abstract thank you dr rani so one of the question was if there is a need to pay first to submit an abstract. So there is no uh, requirement to make payment first. So you can submit the abstract. The abstract submission link is open. Uh, by now we have received a number of abstracts. So you can just follow the instruction. I'm sure the submission link will be shared immediately after now with the presentations. You can also check in the previous video on YouTube I have seen Hezron has shared already in the groups, uh, which are the guidance on all what Dr. Uh, Anne Mercy presented. So the registration is basically to attend for the conference. So there is no additional fee to submit the abstract. Uh, the other question is, can one person uh, submit more than one abstract? No, we kindly request one abstract per person. Uh, thank you. Back to you, Chair. Thank you, everyone. Um, if there are no other questions, um, allow me to hand over to the acting CEO for PSK, uh, Dr. Ivy Ratemo, to, to have her closing remarks uh, and give a message from the president. Ivy. Um, thank you, Dr. Anis. I trust that I'm audible. So um, good evening, esteemed colleagues. I want to thank you all for this important webinar on the PSK ESP International Conference. Uh, in a special way, I want to thank, to thank uh, Dr. Kwame of ESP, Dr. Kosmasiai of APF, and Dr. Dreslin of FIP for taking their time to come and address us. Um, as we all know, PSK is turning 60 this year, and we look forward to commemorating this in a special and grand way. And it's not just through our events, but through impactful change in pharmaceutical practice in Kenya. I do not want to repeat what the committee has said, but I can see you're being congratulated for good. I want to say a big thank you to the symposium committee for the great work that you have been doing, and thank you for taking the time to explain this to membership. I would also just like to remind our esteemed members that the Secretariat is on hand to offer support to all members, delegates, and sponsors. In case you have issues with registration, abstracts, 
or there's a potential sponsor you'd like us to reach out to, we are on hand, kindly reach out to us. And last but not least, I know the president is on the call. I'd just like to acknowledge his presence here, Dr. Louis Mashogu. And thank you all for coming and wish you a good night. See you at White Sands. Thank you. Um, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Ivy. So uh, as we close, I would like to remind everyone that um, we shall be having our trip to Experience Mombasa from the 9th to 11th of February. The payment deadline is going to be tomorrow. So for those who are interested, kindly make your payments before tomorrow to facilitate early booking of the SGR. It's going to be an amazing experience. Hope to see you all there. Also, our January issue of the Farm Exchange will be coming out tomorrow. Uh, just a reminder that you can be able to grow your business with us, advertise. Uh, kindly contact the communications email for the rates. And thank you so much for everyone who was able to be part of this webinar. Hope to see you at White Sands from June, in June 10th. And Asante Nisana, may you all have a good night.